welcome to feel, for the art of adventuring runs in the blood of the people, and daring adventurers have kept the land safe for longer than most care to remember. In the absence of danger, though, what was once a respected profession is now viewed at best as a silly, harmless pastime at worst, as a terrible waste of time. Still, every youngster dreams of danger and adventure. The Wanderer's Circle, an association so old that the roots are believed to have been long forgotten, still manages to attract a few hopeful adventurers to their cause. Here, in the Rocky Hills, near the village of Hearsay Hamlet, they assemble to complete the trials of the Circle, hoping to be accepted among their ranks. You too have travelled to their campsite to prove your worth. Embark on your journey now. An adventurer. My name is Gerhard, and I've been watching hopeful youngsters come and go. When I was young, the world was indeed a dangerous place, and only the strong would dare join our ranks. These days, though, now that the dangerous creatures have been banished to the hills and life is easier, adventuring has become nothing but a pastime for spoiled kids. Every year, the new litter seems to be getting weaker, and I see no reason why you should be any different. What brings you here? Did you come for fame and glory? Did you come for the loot? Or perhaps you were just a little bored? Well, sorry to disappoint you. Greetings, traveler, and welcome to our small camp. I'm Rosalind, and I'm so happy to see they have chosen to join our cause. The adventure life is an age-old tradition, and we take pride in ensuring the safety of the paths. Lately, our numbers have been dwindling. Perhaps due to few understand that true security requires a constant, vigilant effort. The many animals of the wilderness would surely be a lot more troublesome if we didn't occasionally remind them that they need... Gerhard can sometimes seem quite unwelcoming. I think he has seen too many young people who weren't quite cut out for this life and buried quite a few of them, too. Oh, so you're an adventurer? My what brings you here? Did you come for fame and glory? Did you come for the loot? Rosalind is a very strong and talented warrior.
didn't scare you away did they well, i guess now you're a real adventurer and you can't wait to face a real challenge <laughs> get out of here it's still not too late to run home to your mummy skirts perhaps you should ask rosalind does she need help with anything oh did gerhard send you to kill the rats that's his job but although he's actually a fierce warrior, I think he's a bit scared of those little critters. Anyway, thanks for ridding us of those pests. Now I think it's time for a little more challenge, don't you think? Outside our camp to the north, we have spotted several large spiders. They're normally shy, but have been encroaching on our paths lately. They must be dealt with swiftly before they turn on us. Please don't venture too far and report back to me after completing your task. Start showing aggression, you say? I'm happy you have managed to overcome them. If you find any more, please kill them on sight. I know the times seem to be getting more dangerous, but we have decided to push through with the trials. I'm sure you're capable of defending yourself, but you must still take care. If you follow the path of adventure and cross the first small stream to the path of trials, you will be walking along a small river. On the other side, you will find the field of trials where Egon is waiting for you. He will explain what you need to do. A piece of advice, the bears in these woods are fairly mild-mannered, but you should still keep your distance from them, and please don't try to take them on by yourself. Safe travels, and please notify Gerhard of your departure from the camp. Although he doesn't seem very welcoming, he dislikes it when people leave without saying goodbye. Goodbye to you too. You do seem a bit more determined than most of the other aspiring adventurers we've seen lately, but don't let that get to your head. This kind of spider aggression is rarely seen unless something has been disturbing them. So you better be careful out there. Have you heard of the green...
Hello, adventurer. I'm aware that the people around these parts call me the Green Witch. It doesn't bother me much because I do love green, and you might also call me a witch. But my name is Ina, and this is what I prefer to be called. I have decided to live out here because I enjoy waking up by myself to the sounds of the wildlife. Also, the citizens. So, Gerhard warned you against me. I remember when he and his friends were just snot nosed kids with wooden swords peeking through my windows. If you could please do me a favour, I would be much obliged. Usually, it's not a problem for me getting the ingredients for my concoctions, but lately I have had many.
thank you for the honey, honey. Did I just hear you ask me if I need bat wings? Are you trying to be funny? <laughs> yes.
西啊！
so much for your help. I'm afraid there will be no trials today, but you did good work with those goblins. And speaking of goblins, we haven't seen many of their kind in years. We usually only find small packs of scavengers, easily dispatched or...
The shaman is dead, you say? Well done! This might be a bit irregular, but your fight in that cave shows more than hitting a few training dummies ever could. Trial or no trial, you have definitely proved your worth, and I'm honored to welcome you into the Order. I very much doubt that the shaman and his tribe just decided to come here for no reason. Something must be brewing, and the villagers of Hearsay Hamlet
I am Carl, the elder here in Hearsay Hamlet. And you are? Oh, and oh, a goblin shaman, you say, right at our doorstep. And you killed him. Stranger, what will it be? Oh, you must be an adventurer. I can always tell goblins just south of here. Oh no, that's not pleasant news. And giant aggressive spiders too. I'm not. I'm afraid we only have mutton stew today. Nia usually comes by with fresh salmon that her husband.
named Walton. Please be quiet around the fish. We'll scare them away. And don't tell anybody about the... I've never seen so many birds around here. They usually stay in the valley upstream.
Joe again. Glad to hear you figured out what caused all those birds to show up. Anyway, I guess it's about time for me to head. First spiders and goblins, then hungry bears, and now orcs? This is even worse than I thought. Welcome.
Oh! <laughs> 